This may sound counterintuitive, but some firefighters depend upon cotton to protect them from getting burned. Creating fire-resistant fabrics is just one way research at Cotton Incorporated in Cary, North Carolina, helps the cotton industry as a whole. But wait until you see some of the new cotton products hitting store shelves soon. This is where every cotton shirt you own starts, in a farmer's field. And this is how those white bulls could end up on the runway at Cotton Incorporated's 24-hour runway show. Cotton is an amazingly reactive fiber. R. Michael Tyndall is the Vice President of Product Development and Implementation at Cotton Incorporated in Cary, North Carolina. It's at the March Multi-Region Cotton Producers Tour where cotton growers see firsthand the research done at Cotton Incorporated and the products created by that research. The consumer still prefers cotton. Barry Warsham is the CEO of Cotton Incorporated. He says that's why Cotton Incorporated's researchers are working with Puma and Under Armour to create products like Trans Dry and Charged Cotton designed to wick moisture away from your body, something previously only accomplished with synthetic materials. So we put them to the test. And it's out here on the tennis court where you can really get a feel for what it is Cotton Incorporated is doing. I'm wearing one of the Under Armour Charged Cotton shirts and I can tell you that this is wicking the moisture away from my body very well. In fact, Neil and I have been out here playing for just a little while and so far I think I'm winning. But where Cotton Incorporated really wants to help you win is in the middle of the storm. This is called storm denim, a treated cotton designed to repel water. This blue fleece is made from a similar product called storm cotton. Can your fleece make raindrops roll off like this? But the research does not stop with products. It actually starts in the field with the eradication of the boll weevil. Getting the boll weevil eradicated out of the U.S. is just critical for our long-term success. Cater Hake is Cotton Inc.'s Vice President of Ag Research. He says Louisiana is key to pest research, especially now that the boll weevil can no longer call the Bayou State home. Louisiana is ground zero for plant bug resistance. Hake says entomologists have their hands full, but there is significant progress overall for farmers. This spider web graph shows that farmers today are growing more with less water, less fertilizer, and less fuel. Cotton growers and the industry is making so much progress right now that 10 years from now, we're going to want to really brag on it. I'd like to thank Cotton Incorporated and the Cotton Board for showing Neil and I how cotton checkoff dollars are helping keep the cotton industry viable in the United States. Coming up in his bottom line report, Neil will show us how there's a little role reversal going on when it comes to making the clothes you and I wear. Well, still to come